Hello everyone, my name is Ben and this is Mo Time. And with lawn renovation season fast approaching here in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, I thought now was a good time to get this video out regarding lawn level rakes you can see in my hand. First, I'll answer what is a lawn level rake? What does it do? And secondly, we'll take a bit more dive into different types of lawn level rakes and the fact that there are different types of lawn level rakes for your lawn level finishing. But yeah, as I've got in my hands here. So let's take a little bit more of a deep dive into lawn level rakes. So at the end of this video, you can have a bit more understanding and go out and choose the right tool for your grass variety. Let's get into it. All right, everybody. So first things first, what is a lawn level rake? Well, a lawn level rake is mainly a tool used when you are doing a lawn renovation. And this is used for basically when you have your top dressing and you want to spread it out evenly over your lawn, then this is the tool you need to do that. Now, if you've got a large pile dumped in the middle of your lawn and you're needing to spread out your sandy loam or your sand, etc., then you might need to start off with a different type of rake to spread the bulk of the soil. And then you come through with your lawn level rake to do your finished product to get your level, fill in those dips and gaps where you have them. And of course, fill in the core aeration holes if you've core aerated your lawn. Now, when it comes to actual different types of rakes, there are actually different types of lawn level rakes. Now, as I drive around in Brisbane, I see many of people mainly have this type of lawn level rake. Now, I'm not saying it's not the right tool, but I just want people to know that these are very different types of tools in my hands. Yes, they are both lawn level rakes, but they both do the job very differently. And I guess the easiest way I can explain that to everyone watching and listening at home is say this one in my left hand is a rotary mower, and this one in my right hand is a reel mower or a cylinder mower. They both at the end of the day do the same thing in the way of cutting grass, but they both do it on very different levels. This sort of does it enough to be like, yep, I've cut the grass, no dramas but I've you know I've torn all the leaf blade but it'll be fine the grass is cut whatever where this one is more like I've come through with manicured scissors I've precisionly done my job but I've completed doing my job at a really high precise point and quality. So yeah, that's kind of the difference in these lawn level rakes. I think there's a bit of a misconception that this is the only type of lawn level rake you should have. And you know, you can get away with doing that with your lawn renovations, but it's, that is not the case. So let me take you through a little bit closer at these two different rakes, what I use these two different rakes for, and then you'll be able to have a bit more idea whether which one is the right rake to go ahead with your renovation with, whether you've purchased the right one originally, or whether whether you're looking to purchase yourself a lawn level rake, then this will hopefully help you choose the right one for your lawn. All right, let's take a closer look. But as we get closer, you can see how different these are from one another. Massively, massively different. Now you can tell this one doesn't get used as much as this one anymore, just because of the rust and the age of it, but also this one is much older. Now this one is the, probably the first one I ever bought when I started to introduce lawn renovations to my business, um, but I've since moved on a while back and purchased this one. So when it comes to having the right rake for you, now when we look at this one, this one is just made up of basically round steel bars welded together and that is it. And this one I refer to as a landscape leveler, where this one I refer to as like a greens leveler or a grass leveler or lawn leveler. Now why that is, is because this just doesn't do the same job as this. And you can easily tell that by look at the construction of this one and look at the construction of this one. So probably the immediate noticing one is this one has channels in it. So it has all these dips and channels in it and it also sits flush and flat where this one is just these round bars and it's not flat on the bottom it is still just rounded bars on the bottom now when it comes to using these rakes i use this rake for basically prepping my under turf when i'm doing a new turf installed job this is the, the rake I used for leveling out my turf area, getting it ready for turf installation. And it is great for that because we're not wanting a dead, dead, well, I mean, we do want a dead, dead flat lawn when you're, you know, as best you can when you're laying a new lawn. But at the end of the day, it, it is difficult to get that uh, perfectly. And that's why you come through afterwards and do a renovation with something like this. But this is the tool I mainly use that for, or if there's a large pile 
of you know top dress or, or underlay that's been put in and I need to push it out and spread it out then these big bars are good for collecting a bulk of soil at once and pushing it out into your area where we come across to something like this this is more for your fine tuning you know and pushing sand out over your area but this does it in a much better job as these channels are here to collect any rocks or debris or large chunks that you really don't want sitting down and top dressing your lawn with or sitting on top of the lawn and eventually end up maybe damaging the reel on your cylinder mower or something like that. So that's what these channels are for. They help to catch any rocks or any little things that may have turned up in your top dress material that you really don't want on your lawn. Now, when I spoke about earlier saying that you couldn't, like I don't use this really for top dressing, it's not, it's not that I don't, you can. You certainly can use this, but I would only recommend using a lawn level like this on you know, lawn varieties such as you see here in my house at home. This is a Sir Walter Buffalo lawn and I don't mow this with a reel mower or a cylinder mower. This is cut with just a rotary and I normally cut it around the sort of 50 mil mark um, in the backyard. So it's cut quite high. So this isn't really fine, fine leaf sitting really low, cut really low. There's plenty of depth between the top of the grass blade to the bottom of the soil level. So getting away with pushing like your sandy top dress or your sandy loam over the top of this, with this you will get away with it. At the end of the day, you know, I, I do recommend just going to something like this. It's just a more precision, finer tool um, and, and to do the job, the finishing job and the finished product at the end of the day is much better. But look, if you have this already you can get away with doing sort of your thick buffalo lawns etc or your carpet grass etc um, you know you can use this for doing that but when it comes down to your cooch varieties or your kaikuyu um, you know your, your bermudas your zoises etc then i would be definitely looking at stepping up to something like this i mean at the end of the day i provide renovations as a business so i always make sure i want the best tools for my business to to you know to provide the best job for my clients who are paying the dollars but yeah when you look at it this is tool is a lot more expensive well not a lot more expensive i think i paid about 60 or 70 dollars for this one back in the day and this one i believe is around sort of the 150 mark now i'll leave a link in the description down below of how much i paid for it um, and then you can go and check that out. There's a few different width varieties to get. You just kind of need to choose the right width for the size of your property or square meterage of the lawns that you are doing. But since getting this one many years ago, it has been you know, a game changer. I barely use this for my renovations at all. And I do a lot of properties um, that are mainly rotary mode, not real mode. Um, so yeah, just bear that in mind, um, you know, when you're choosing that. Look, if you're using a real mower or a cylinder mower at your own property in your business, then I wouldn't even bowl with this at all. I would just go straight to something like this. Uh, again, as we spoke about earlier, you don't want your reel catching on any rocks or any debris that you've spread out, um, you know, over your lawn. You've let the grass come through and you've gone out for your first mow with it and it hasn't, you know, you've used this and it hasn't picked up any rocks or anything that you, you didn't see and all of a sudden your reel's got a dead in it or it's blunt so yeah i would hands down just go straight for something like this and i mean all right everybody that's it for today's video on lawn level rakes i hope you have a bit more insight and understanding on how a lawn level rake works and what sort of finishes it can do and the fact that there are different types of lawn level rakes on the market so i hope that has given you some education in choosing the right lawn level rake for your lawn at home or the right one for your business when you're doing lawn renovations we are cracking off another day here in brisbane i'd hate to say it but the wind the weather in brisbane has been great we have the usual echo wind coming through at this time of year but otherwise it's absolutely beautiful now if you've got any more questions regarding the lawn level rakes or anything in general at all please put it in the comments below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible now if you could help out the channel by subscribing and hitting the like button on this video and sharing the video out to any more lawn and garden enthusiasts like you and me but anyway i hope you're all staying well mentally and physically we'll see you legends in the next video